How many times have you heard a carnivore tell you they had a cheat day and then their life was jacked for like two weeks straight? They're sneezing, something, just a little piece of black pepper falls on their steak somehow and they're just done for. It happened to me. Things were so good. Teenage girl skin was upon us. I had it. And then my life went into a meltdown. I'm piecing the puzzle pieces together. Help. Help me. Just let me be a monkey. So picture this. Everything's going great. One meal a day, carnivore, six meals a week, dry fast every week, skin clearing, digestion's good, energy fine. I don't know what even happened. I'm trying to piece the puzzle pieces. Why can't I say sentences? I'm trying to retrace the steps of what happened because all of a sudden I'm starting to get tired, depressed, and breaking out my skin. And I'm like, what the hell happened? Like, it just went downhill. So the first thing I did was all-you-can-eat sushi for my mom's funeral. So sorry for celebrating the woman I loved. So, like, I thought I was fine. I sure I had some explosive diarrhea for a few days, but like I wasn't getting any zits. I was like, oh, I've healed the gut somewhat. I can eat sushi occasionally if I want. All I had was raw salmon, raw butterfish, and then a couple mango salmon rolls and avocado salmon rolls with the rice and nori. So like it could have been that, but it didn't, I didn't feel anything bad until like a week after it if not five days, I was like something. So like, that's the hardest thing for me. I always go through these waves of up and downs and I, I add too many things at a time and I can never pinpoint it. And I don't write a journal anymore. I used to, I'm going to start again so I can pinpoint it once and for all. But my health was suffering. I'm just laying around here, like unmotivated to move. I'm just like, what's the point of anything? I'm watching movies doing nothing with my life and I think it was either the sushi delay reaction to my ass or around that time I was also adding in ghee as a fat source because my butcher ran out of suet and I was like what am I gonna do oh my god I used to eat ghee I seemed to be fine but maybe I wasn't so like that I'm allergic to dairy and even raw milk Thank you for suggesting it every day down there. I'm allergic to milk. Have you tried raw milk? I've tried it. In Thailand, it was raw milk. One cup one day, one cup the next day, and my stomach hurt for two weeks straight. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to get a colitis flare. Thankfully, I pulled myself out of it somehow because it was only two days exposure. But that was raw milk. Thailand milk. The best kind of milk. And also around this time, I started putting rosehip seed oil into my rice bran oil onto the face i was like try that out a little essential antioxidants vitamin c on the face what could go wrong i might even absorb it and use it i get zero vitamin c in my diet and then my skin started freaking out and i'm like was it the rosehip seed oil was it the sushi from last week is the dairy effing me so many things happened and so I'm just, I stopped everything and I'm moving on and things are stopping. They're not getting worse anymore, but hot damn. Like we're so sensitive as carnivores. We're not healed. I'm not healed. I go out for a little sushi buffet and I'm wrecked for two weeks, if not three. Or it could be that I got a cold and that was about... I want to say two and a half weeks ago, maybe this is like the remnants of a terrible cold. It was like a week of sneezing, but then depression is a cold as well. Who knows? So the carnivore diet really is a trap that you have to stay in. And as long as you stay in the box, you're in a happy box. It's a nice, you can carve out a little window. You got a toilet back there and you're fine. Things are good. But like, if you want to evolve, here, here's where I get in trouble. I watched a little podcast. It was the best show I've ever seen. And it's these guys basically explaining every thought I have about diet. They're 
they were vegans and they suffered and so they started eating meat and they got better and they feel better but something always feels off karmically and spiritually we don't want to kill animals and eat them it just never feels right but like we try vegan diets and we get sicker what the hell is the answer god help me so i have those thoughts every day and basically the essene gospel of peace is what these guys were quoting and jesus said you can eat dairy i'm allergic my man geez i can't do that so like what the hell i have to eat something from the animal kingdom i don't think i digest eggs so it's like that leaves me with nothing but fish canned fish that's my diet fruit and fish go fruit yourself let me know down below if the Essene gospel of peace is utter bullshit lies. Please somebody save me from myself and say it is. Because if Jesus tells you, hey, don't eat meat, it's not great for you. I want to do that. I want to follow the man. So what I'm thinking for the future, I am leaning towards adding in some fruit to see what happens to my body. Once we establish that I could potentially digest some morsels of fruit, I can lower the land animals, up the fish content, never try dairy, maybe an egg yolk comes into my body somehow, through this end or the other, and then we, we develop a somewhat pescatarian lifestyle where fish don't feel pain or misery, and Jesus ate fish. Even though he's the god of Zeus, who destroys worlds with lightning, I still think he was a good man, the son of the one. Huh? But be honest with me, carnivores, don't you feel something is off with this whole thing? You feel great, everything's seemingly good on paper, but then you're like, ah, oh, the animals, Taking in dead bodies, death energy, fear, something seems off and we should probably transition away from it. And you could be vegetarian if you liked the raw milk and eggs and then if I could eat that, I would totally do that. Fruit, one fruit meal and then an egg and milk meal. That sounds gross as hell. Uh, who wrote this diet? It's the dumbest diet ever. But like you make some raw dairy kefir. Boom, a bunch of scrambled eggs. Come on now, nobody's dying. So I'm not gonna panic and make a switch. Right now I'm still one meal a day carnivore, just some, I had some strawberries yesterday. Cool, cool story, no farting so far, so good. And then I'm gonna try like one day of what happens if I eat nothing but tinned salmon for a day instead of meat. I need fat source, so be fat, but ah, shit, that's a meat. That's a land meat. Okay, this is not working. I need a fat source, but maybe if I get enough fruit and then just fish, fruit and fish. All these thoughts just because I got somewhat sad in the winter in Canada and I had a zit. I'm easily persuaded off my path, but whatever some experiments ahead as usual and that's what i'm doing let me know your thoughts down below is meat terrible do you feel it there's something right you're killing the bible said it was okay but who wrote that book a lot of weird theories so how you doing you thumbing up the video a lot of rants today side rants you would thumb down a ranty episode i think i know why you're doing it likely because you just switched your diet over to clams you only eat things that were protected by shells of sacred geometrical patterns it's a viable path you know in the bible they say don't eat shrimp is that a lie is that the healthiest thing Shrimp only diet coming soon. I'll leave. How you doing? Subscribing for more videos. Yeah,